Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a Windows user, you've probably used the clipboard history feature before. It's that cool shortcut, Win plus V, that lets you view and paste text you've copied recently. But what do you do if Win plus V isn't working or showing any copied text? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So, if you're tired of seeing that blank clipboard history or nothing at all when you press that shortcut, stick around. Let's dive into it. Step 1. Check Clipboard. History settings. First things first, let's make sure clipboard history is actually turned on. Sometimes it's just turned off by default or gets disabled accidentally. To check, open up your settings by pressing Win plus I. From there, go to System and click on Clipboard. Here you'll see an option called Clipboard History. Make sure it's turned on. If it isn't, just toggle it on and try pressing Win plus V again. That should fix it for most people. If that doesn't work, let's move on to the next step. Now, if that didn't work, we can try restarting Windows Explorer. It's a simple trick to refresh system processes like Clipboard and File Explorer. To do this, press Control, plus Shift, plus ES key to open Task Manager, then scroll down and find Windows Explorer. Right-click it and select Restart. This will refresh the Clipboard History feature, so try pressing Win plus V again after that. Still not working? Okay, if that didn't help, let's check for any Windows updates. Sometimes bugs or issues like this get fixed in the latest updates. To do this, open Settings again, head to Windows Update, and click on Check for Updates. If there are any updates available, go ahead and install them. Once the updates are done, restart your PC and check if Clipboard History starts working. Still no luck? Now, if that didn't fix the issue, there's another advanced method we can try using the Registry Editor. Don't worry, I'll walk you through it step by step. Press Win plus R, type Regidite, and press Enter to open the Registry Editor. Then, navigate to the following destination. Once you're there, check if there's a value called Enable Clipboard History. If it's not there, you can create it by right-clicking and selecting New, then choosing Doored 32-bit value and naming it Enable Clipboard History. Set the value to 1 to enable Clipboard History or 0 to disable it. After that, restart your computer and that should fix it. If you're still having trouble, let's move on to the next step. Step 5. Group Policy Editor for Pro Users If you're using Windows Pro and the clipboard history still isn't working, you can manage it through the Group Policy Editor. This is especially useful if you're troubleshooting on a work or school computer. To do this, press Win plus R, type gpedit.msc, and press Enter. Then navigate to Computer Configuration, then Administrative Templates, then System, and finally OS Policies. Look for Allow Clipboard History and double-click it. You can enable or disable Clipboard History from here. Set it to Enable to allow Clipboard History or Disabled if you want to turn it off. Hit Apply and OK and check if that works. If the issue persists, let's head over to the final step. Alright, if you've tried everything so far and it's still not working, we can run an SFC scan. This will check for corrupted system files that might be causing the problem. To do this, open Command Prompt as Administrator by searching for CMD, right-clicking it, and selecting Run as Administrator. Then type the following command, SFC slash SCANNOW hit Enter, and let the scan complete. Once it's done, restart your computer and check if Clipboard History starts working now. That should do the trick if there were any system file issues causing the problem. And that's it. If you followed all the steps, your Clipboard History should be back to normal, and Win plus V should be working as expected. Remember, if the issue still persists, it might be worth reaching out to the Microsoft support community or checking if there's a deeper issue with your system. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more helpful tech tips. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's something else you want me to cover. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.